Hi, this is Shadi and today I will talk about the story of Shuto and of course I cannot talk about Shuto without talking of course about the grandfather Carl Gotch. You see him here with the Indian mace. Um, if it wasn't for Gotch there would be no tiger mask and thus there would be no Shuto. So briefly I will talk about Shoot wrestling before Shuto. So you see uh, shoot wrestling was actually um, done after Carl Gotch's travels mainly to India where he adopted a lot of uh, Pelwani Kushti uh, into his arsenal and honed his skills there. I believe I've talked about that in my Judo vs Kushti video. And of course uh, he was a formidable wrestler studied at the snake uh, pit. So with his travels he went to Japan, he went to course India and honed his skills further and started to adapt I'm sorry adopt more students such as Inoki, uh, Fujinami, uh, Fujiwara and of course Satoru Sayama um, and thus he started to work on his strong style uh, professional wrestling and he would uh, put his students against people of other arts like mixed martial arts types matches and um, after that the new Japan Pro Wrestling and the Universal Wrestling Federation started to adopt a little more strong style professional wrestling um, show or expression uh, even though it looked very realistic in terms of submissions techniques etc um, the outcomes were very much predetermined so fixed fights again fixed fights are very much historical a lot of Great fighters have uh, participated in them, Masahiko Kimura, George Gracie, um, Gioji Omori, it's a great way to promote your school, show your technique, at the same time stay uh, injury free and a great chance to make money by you know, uh, putting the media into it and having those countless rematches. So basically shoot wrestling, Carl Gotch's uh, wrestling was basically a lot of catch of course. Greco and freestyle. I mean that combination alone will turn you into a killer and after he uh, started to train the Japanese um, a lot of them started to incorporate more such as um, karate and even Muay Thai, Sambo and then later on Judo was thrown into the mix. Now let's get into um, Satoru Sayama. You see after the uh, UWF and the New Japan Pro started to adopt the strong style um, wrestling um, he wanted something that was more real and thus the idea of Shuto was born um, very similar to Sawayama Muneyomi which is the father of Kempo who started to drift away from more kata based karate into a more uh, grappling mixed with karate and more pressure testing and thus Kempo was born same thing with Takashi and Kudo he wanted to hit the face unlike Kyokushin which was his foundation and then added judo and the gi and particularly the throws and the submission I've covered those very recently so uh, at first it was called the Shin uh, Kakudo Gi or the new martial art uh, he, uh, tiger mask by the way Satoru Sayama was the original tiger mask um, he founded it first in 1985 and he wished to have it uh, like a more of a MMA fight like a real the type you see today in uh, all these MMA organizations and at first it was called shooting but it didn't want it to be uh, lumped in with the shooting sports like those where they like uh, eject a, a disc and you shoot it down and thus he gave it the name Shuto so there's no predetermined uh, results there were no fixed fights uh, but the showmanship pretty much was very much alive so the first show was held in 1986 and the first professional event was three years later in 1989 so um, Shuto organized by the way Valetudo Japan uh, not Valetudo the Brazilian the one of the 20th century by Tudo Japan was actually hosted by the Shuto organization first time it did that was in 1994 um, and it was first uh, like a kind very similar a little bit to what uh, Hoist and Yoshida did where 
uh, on the ground was mainly grappling and on the stand up you had the striking and the grappling uh, they still did that today even in France you see two years uh, ago uh, I've known a lot of people that were trying to go from amateur to pro and in France it was called combat grappling uh, where when the fight goes to the ground there's no striking you know for injury etc you know danger for basically the safety of the fighter so ground and pound did not exist but in the stand-up you can strike and grapple as much as you want so a, a little bit similar to the early Valley Tudo Japan um, but Sayama later on decided to adopt more striking on the ground even to the back of the head but we will get to the rules tomorrow with the uh, judo versus shuto video um he incorporated more striking ground and pound because he saw a lot of the other um f fighters from other styles they were doing it and they were very efficient in it and of course it's one of the best ways you can end uh, a match or a serious street fight so uh, after that um the uh, shoot shuto was no longer an organization organization like um pride or pancreas it's uh it later on had its own body kind of like saying igf or ibjjf so uh, it went from an organization to an official combat sports and it had a yearly world championship event from 1994 till 1999 um later on 10 years later in 2009 ballet tudo japan returned uh, which is actually pretty amazing uh, with the whole rise of other MMA organizations that would easily rival um, Vale Tudo Japan and uh, Shuto. Uh, it's pretty amazing that it uh, continued to survive after a, uh, how do you say, a 10-year dormant phase, so to speak. Uh, not only that, but Shuto was even brought to America in the eight, late 80s, so very recent. Uh, like very early in its uh, infancy so to speak if it was um how do you say founded in 85 and so the late 80s so just a few years later sayama was very successful in bringing it to america um also south america adapted it particularly brazil so shuto brazil was also founded in uh, 2002 so it has a very it had a very good and successful spread into the western world so um here's the thing um even though there's stuff like ufc and all these other events i was very much uh you know impressed by the fact that in 2016 valley tudo japan was began to live stream on ufc fight pass and of course shuto as well um all of them happened I believe June 19 and September 19th so uh, this video was actually done uh, in order to know the story very much similar to what I do where I talk about the history of an art before I pair it up with judo I believe the rules are very interesting compared to modern MMA uh, there's many uh, amateur and pro classes and we will talk about that tomorrow and of course the rules when it comes to groin strikes back to the head uh, strike to the back of the head and headbutting etc so um i do believe uh, it is very much impressive or effective uh, it is far less i would say uh, real like i'm not gonna say it's not real obviously it is but uh, compared to something like ufc uh, in terms of level i fail to see that it can rival the ufc especially with the rules which we will talk about tomorrow so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only and please do not forget to check out josh simon's website and shop for articles and t-shirts this was shady and as always thank you for listening